What's going on, everybody? This is Lag on Lock here, and welcome to week one of the Ball State Cardinals Dynasty here on NCAA 10 for the PSP. We're heading to Tennessee this week to take down those Tigers. Taking a look at their key players, their kickers overall is an 84. We have to watch out for their cornerback, number 21, who's an 84 overall as well. And last is their wide receiver, number five, who's an 80 overall. Anyway, guys, sit back, relax, and I'll see you guys out there on the field. So guys, we're going to be getting the ball first in the first quarter. It's going to be first and 10 on our 32-yard line. Yates goes with the option, hands it off to Jones. Jones gets brought down. It's going to be second down, a three-yard loss on the play, second and 13. Yates rolls out to the left, tries to find a man. Sees Brown, the freshman, and he drops the football. It's going to be third and 13. Yates steps back again. Throws it downfield to Butler, and he gets hit as he threw the ball. We're going to go three and out, and now it's going to be Tennessee State's turn. Number seven steps back, tries to find a man. He does. It's the running back, and he drops it. You're an impact player. You can't be dropping passes like that. Second and ten. Hands it off to number 28, and he gets brought down. It's going to be third and ten. Number seven, steps back again, tries to find a man, looks left, look right, throws it downfield, trying to go for it all, and it's broken up by Darius, and it's going to be three and out for the Tennessee State Tigers, and it's first and ten for us. Pitch play to Jones. Jones gets brought down behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be second and 12, and on second and 12 now, Yates, option play, hands it off to Jones, and Jones gets brought down again behind the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and 12. Yates steps back, rolls out to the right this time, tries to find a man open. Throws a downfield to Butler and is picked off by number 32, the cornerback. And he breaks a tackle and he's going to get brought down. Not a good look for us as we get our first turnover of this dynasty. He's going to go ahead and drink the football there. I don't know what the heck that's all about, but I like their helmets. It's pretty cool. Anyway, it's going to be first and 10 for Tennessee State. Hands off to the running back. He gets brought down, gets a couple of yards on the play, and it's going to be second and seven. Hands off number 28 again. Big hit by Gibson. He fumbles, but the offense were able to recover. Number five with the foam recovery. It's going to be third and 17. Number seven steps back. Throws, and the tight end makes the catch, but he was able to get stopped. They're going to go three and out. It's going to be first and 10 for us. Yates hands it off to Butler. Butler has space. He's going to move upfield, and he takes a big hit, and it's going to be second and six. Four-yard pickup on the play. Yates hands it off to Jones. Hands it off to Parker. And what a bad play call there. I don't know what I was doing on that play. Anyway, third and 14 with only 10 seconds uh, to go in this quarter. Yates rolls out to the right, tries to find a man. He throws to Jones. Jones makes the catch right down the middle, and he has plenty of space. No one can catch up to him. He's going to get all the way to the end zone, and the longest pass is broken by Yates with a 95-yard pass on that one. That was a good play by our offense, man. I did not expect Jones to make that catch. The Fender look, he could have batted that away. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the first quarter with the score, Ball State 7. The Tennessee State Tigers, zero. First and 10 now. Ball at the 24 for the Tigers. Number seven steps back. Tries to find a man. Throws it short, and it's an incomplete pass. It's going to be second and 10. And on second and 10 now. Hands it off to the fullback. Breaks a tackle. Hurdles. Hurdles again. And he breaks a tackle, and he gets brought down. It's going to be third and four. Six-yard pickup on the play. Number seven steps back. Montoya was able to get there to the quarterback. It's going to be three and out. It's going to be first and ten for the Cardinals. Pitch play to Jones, and I need to stop doing those option plays because they're like not working, but we got a one-yard pickup on the play. Hands it off to Jones. Jones gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage. He's not doing so well with rushing today. Yates steps back, rolls out to the left, tries to find a man. 
Throws it downfield, and Terrence Parker cannot make the catch. It's going to be three and out, first and 10 for Tennessee State. Hands off to the running back. Number 28 cannot get anything going today. He's an impact player as well. It's going to be second and eight, two-yard pickup. Number seven steps back, and he gets tackled. Trying to scramble, it's going to be third and nine. And on third and nine, number seven steps back. Throws it downfield. Who left him open? Number five, one of their key players. He makes the catch, and it's going to be first and 10 at the 22 for the, for the Tiger. Excuse me. Number 28 goes up the middle, and he gets brought down. It's going to be second and five as they use their first timeout. Number seven hands it off to the right back again, and he gets brought down. One yard pickup of the play. It's going to be third and four at the 16. Number seven tries to find a man. It is intercepted by Tate, Kevin Tate with the interception. And this is going the other way, folks. As he go ahead and do his little dance. I don't know what you call that. that I don't know what the heck. I don't know. I wonder if I do that in a club where people will say. Anyway, first and ten. <laughs> Tate's, uh, not Tate's, Yates steps back. It'll be second and ten. And on second and ten. And the option play again, and Danny Yates injured his chest on the play. He looks to be a little shaken up. We're going to go ahead and put in Pat Kraft here. It's going to be third and 11. Kraft steps back, throws, and he gets hit as he throws, and it's going to be three and out for the Ball State Cardinals. Not what we want here. And I don't know why he's patting the receiver because, I mean, he should be patting the offensive line because they didn't even block for nothing. That could have been a safety. Anyway, guys, it's going to be first and 10 for the Tigers at the 31. Number seven steps back, tries to find a man. Throws it down the middle, and it's an incomplete pass, second and 10. Number seven steps back again, tries to find a man. Throws it number 82, and he dives for it. Well, a little slide there, and he gets the uh, catch, and it'll be first and 10, and they're going to rush their offense as they are four, there is 40 seconds left. Number seven steps back, tries to find a man. Can't find nobody. Throws it oh. uh, to the tight end, number 43, but he takes a big hit. And there is going to be a flag down on the play. Let's see who it's on. It's going to be on number 88, their tight end. That's going to lead up, uh, that's going to, lead up to be first and 20 for the offense. Stop right there, Quinn. And Toya is going to go ahead and get the sack, and it's going to be second and 25. They're going to rush the offense again. Steps back. Big hit, and there's a fumble on the play. Hodges picks it up. And he gets brought down. That could have been a fumble recovery for six if he picked up a little bit sooner. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the second quarter as we go ahead and transition to the third quarter with the score 7-0. to zero. Not a bad lead for us. We just need to play a little bit smarter. Anyway, first and 10. Hands off number 28. He gets brought down. Four-yard pickup on the play. They're going to be spotted at 38. Hands it off to the running back. He has plenty of space, but yet he got stuck behind his offensive lineman. It's going to be third and four. And on third and four, the quarterback steps back, and it's an incomplete pass. I would say that was defense pass interference, but eh, they didn't call it. But anyway, first and ten for us. They're going to hand it off to Butler. Butler has plenty of space. He's going to cut up field. Can he get a touchdown? Number 45 is trying to tail him down, and he gets brought down at the 31-yard line, first and ten. For the Cardinals, Yates, option play, and he gets brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Second and 12. Yates steps back, rolls out to the left this time, tries to find a man, throws it to Terrence Parker. Parker makes the catch, but he gets tackled out of bounds. It's going to be first and 10 at the 17. Yates steps back, rolls out, goes back the other way, and he gets sacked, and it's going to be second and 14 at the 24. Yates steps back, tries to find a man. Throws it down the middle to the freshman, but no, it was batted away. A dangerous pass that could have easily been intercepted. Yates steps back, rolls out to the left. Throws it to Colston, and Pierre Colston cannot make the catch. We're going to set up for a field goal, and we're going to line it up correctly, and the kick is up. Great kick, and the kick is good. It's going to be first and 10 now for the Tigers. Number seven steps back. He's been struggling all day today. Throws it, nearly picked off, but number five was able to make the reception, and it's going to be first and 10 at the 46 for the Tigers. Number seven steps back. He gets hit as he tries to throw. That should have been a fumble, but they didn't call it. Second and 10. And it's a broken play. I think the running back wasn't paying attention because the quarterback decided just to take it for himself. It's going to be third and six. 
Puts a man in motion. Number 28 has it. He gets stuck, man. This running back, he's an impact player, but he's not doing so. He keeps getting stuck behind his offensive line, or either that, we tackle him behind the line of scrimmage. Anyway, we're going to hand off to Parker. Parker, he's going to move upfield. Can he get past the defender? No, he takes a big hit. And he's brought down, but we do get the first down at the 30. Yeah, he steps back, rolls out to the right. And he saw Butler, but that could have easily been intercepted, but it's going to be second and 10 with only 20 seconds to go in the third quarter. Yates steps back, rolls out, tries to find a man. And he gets hit as he threw the football. It's going to be third and 10. Yates steps back again. And he, I had to force it. I had to force it because I was going to get sacked, but that was a bad play call as the free safety number 42 makes the interception. Man, oh, man. Our quarterback isn't doing so well this game. He's not making a lot of good passes. Like, we already threw, uh, threw two, uh, two picks. Yeah, two picks in this game. Yeah. Well, let's see if the Tigers are able to come back in this one. First and 10 now. Nine seconds to go in the third quarter. Number seven steps back. Hodges nearly got the interception. I don't know why he tried to intercept it behind him. That could have been six right there. He already has a fumble recovery uh, in this game. Oh, 28 is going to take it, and he gets brought down first down for the Tigers, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the score, 10-0. to zero. The Tigers have one more quarter to see if they can come back in this one. They're in a good spot to score. They're going to hand off number 28. 28 makes a juke spin move, but he gets brought down, and it's going to be second and eight. Two-yard pickup on the play. Number seven, steps back, Stop tries right to find a man, and Montoya, Stop. Shannon Montoya was able to get the sack. It's going to be third and 14. Number seven, steps back again. Stop right Montoya there, again is going to be able to get to number seven, and it's going to be a fourth down. They're going to have to go for it here on fourth and 21 to keep hope alive. Number seven, steps back, tries to find something, and Gibson was able to get to the quarterback, able to force him to throw the ball on the ground, and is going the other way. First and 10 now for the uh, Cardinals. Hands off to Jones, and Jones, he's not having a day at all. He's actually out here just losing yards every play. Yates steps back, rolls out to the right, tries to find a man. Sees Jones, and he's hit as he threw the football, and it'll be third and 12. Yates hands it off to the running back, and it's a bad option. And, oh my goodness, that could have easily been a turnover, but we're going to go three and out, and it's going to be first and 10. For the Tigers, right there, Montoya stop. is going to get to the quarterback again. I think he already recorded three sacks this quarter alone. It's going to be second and 18. They're going to rush the offense. They have the 30. They have one minute and 40 seconds to score. Montoya again is able to get to the quarterback. Their offensive line is not protecting this quarterback whatsoever. Third and 26. Number seven steps back. Throws it. He have a man open. Number 89 makes the catch, and it's going to be a first and 10 for the Tennessee State Tigers. They're going to rush the offense again. They don't want to waste their timeouts. With only a minute and 10 seconds to go, let's see what number 7 does. Hands it off to number 5. Big hit on the play by our defense, but uh, wait, guys, there is a flag on the play. Let's see who it's on, and it's going to be offsides on Tate. A 5-yard penalty is going to be first and 10 at the 31. Number seven steps back, throws down, throws down the middle, and it's going to be second and ten. You know, second and ten. Number seven steps back, throws it, and the receiver literally dropped it. I guess he got scared. Third and ten. Number seven steps back. You know, scramble up the field, juke move, but then he gets brought down. It's going to be fourth down. They're going to call a timeout, and it's going to be fourth and six. Can we stop him? Number seven steps back. Stop right there. And Montoya is able to get to him again. The fourth sack of the quarter. And just like that, guys, that's going to do it for the ball game as we beat balls, uh, <laughs> as we beat Tennessee State 10-0. <laughs> So now, guys, we're going to take a look at the player of the game. This is going to be the impact player, Shannon Montoya, the senior redshirt left in. He had seven tackles, six of those tackles for loss, and six sacks. Amazing game for him to start off the season. He recorded four sacks all in the fourth quarter alone. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the game stats. 
As you all know, the score was 10 to 0. We had four first downs, they had six. Total offense, we had 142, they had 104. The Tigers struggled on the ground game today, only having negative nine yards. Our passing uh, was terrible. We were two for 16 and scored one touchdown. We were able to sack Tennessee seven times, six of those from Montoya. On third down conversions, we were one for nine. Uh, unacceptable in my book. The Tigers couldn't convert at all, going zero for two. We were in the red zone one time, but we were able to convert with a field goal. Both teams had two turnovers. We fumbled the ball once. The Tigers fumbled the ball twice and lost it once. We threw two picks due to uh, due to bad passes on my part. Tennessee had more total yards than us, having 193 and we had 172. Also beating us in time of possession with 8.52 to our 7.08. Heading over to individual stats, Danny Yates had a, qu a QB rating of 70.8. He had two completions out of 15 attempts. Those two passes alone added up to 111 yards and one touchdown. He threw two interceptions and his completion percentage was 13%. Looking at the running game, Chad Butler led our team with 47 yards today. Robert Jones had a bad uh, first game, a bad first game to start his senior year, only rushing for negative nine yards and averaging negative 1.2. But he had one reception today that was 95 yards, which gave us our first touchdown of the dynasty. Parker also had one reception for 16 yards. Ian Tatum, the freshman left tackle, got his first pancake of his college career. Now heading over to defense, Montoya led our team with seven tackles, six tackles for loss, and six sacks. Tate was the only one to get an interception for us late in the second quarter. Bouchard and Gibson both forced a fumble, and Josh Hodges was able to recover one. Moreau uh, had a uh, he made a 41-yard field goal today to get to uh, for us to get to 10 points. Now we're going to take a look at the players of the week for Week One. On offense, we had number 15, Carlos Anderson, the senior quarterback from Florida, as they defeated FCS Southeast 69-3. He went 21 for 23 for uh, 429 yards, 7 touchdowns, and 10 yards carrying. He's already on track to win the Heisman. Look at those stats. On defense, we have number 32, Salas, the senior left outside linebacker from Oregon State, as they beat Port State. I think it's Portland State. I don't know. 49 to 0. <laughs> Silas had one tackle and uh, an interception and two uh, touchdowns. Heading over to the MAC Players of the Week for Week 1. On offense, we have number 21 Smith, the senior redshirt halfback from Ohio, as they beat UConn in a close one, 35 to 31. He had 25 carries for 185 yards and three touchdowns. On defense, we have number 46 Henley, the senior left outside linebacker from Temple. A triumph over Villanova, 37-6. Henley had an amazing uh, game, recording nine tackles, three tackles for loss, a sack, interception, and a touchdown. So that's going to do it, guys. Next week, we're playing the Michigan State Spartans at home. They have a C-plus overall, a B-minus offense, and a C-plus defense. Should be a good one. But anyway, if you like what you see and you like to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next in the next one. I can't talk today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.